start with the reading Aquarius. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Keep in mind that energies go both ways, so please feel free to interpret them as they best resonate with you. Also, I am selecting people for free personal readings. Keep watching to know how to get selected. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius, today. All right, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. And I see you here in the process of bouncing back from a situation that perhaps didn't turn out to be what you expected it to be. Right here, I see two different realities, two different timelines in a way, yours and your person's. What I see from you is you deciding to find out a way to move forward. Right here with this energy, soon you will be able to understand what it is that you really want for yourself. What it is that you really need as well to be happy. At times we tell ourselves that we need that person, that relationship, that situation in order to start our life. Have you ever heard that? I really need to move into that house, move to that city, be with that person to finally start my life. But your life is, has already started. Your life is now. And what you are about to understand here is what you have to do to find happiness right away. Keep in mind that this, it's definitely not easy. I definitely feel with this card coming from the Three of Swords that you went through a lot. And I'm sorry to see that. But at the same time, you have to do this for yourself. Look at this, this Nine of Pentacles. You learning how to be um, abundant by yourself, stable by yourself, without needing anyone to help you out with that. And honestly, this is the biggest achievement because it doesn't mean that you are not going to be in a relationship or that you're not going to be in this relationship again. It just means that you are finding your stability. You are becoming stronger without the need of anyone else. And at that point, when you have this for yourself, you can start letting in people people that you care about, because regardless of what they do, you will always fall back on your feet. Now, the other timeline that I was mentioning is definitely your person's timeline. What I see here is something that they are about to experience and they're not expecting to experience this at all. In fact, what I see with the Eight of Cups is perhaps what brought what caused that Three of Swords for you, which now it's transforming into the Four of Swords. Right here, we see someone leaving. You are looking at their back while, while they're walking away. And this is clearly something that was hard for you. Because, you know, this is not just someone moving away or leaving uh, with their body. This Eight of Cups really talks about emotions. And right here, they almost make you feel as though you're not part of their values. You're not part of their goals, of their future. They're not what they want anymore. And this, depending on everything that they have said and done up to this point, which perhaps was the opposite, can be very hurtful. And so right here, you see someone who promised you uh, beautiful things, who told you beautiful things, who maybe you had a lot of good times with, right now, leaving, like nothing has ever happened. And so this is clearly hard to deal with, someone pulling back this way. But at the same time, we see how uh, you are learning how to make the best out of a situation like this one. And so regardless of what happens with this person, you are a winner, Aquarius, and you have to remember that. Now, you see how this Eight of Cups, it's not the truth. This is not what's really happening. There is another Eight on the table, 
and it's the Eight of Pentacles. Now let's look at this card. You see someone who is working on their own thing, right? They have pen and paper, they have uh, stuff on the table, be easy with my uh, life, with busy with my future, with what I want to do. I don't need anyone else. I'm walking away. But look what they're doing. They're looking back. At every step that they take away from you, they keep looking back to see if you are chasing them, if you are following them. And so right here, it's clear that this Eight of Cups, which usually is a real emotional detachment, we see how that was just there to trigger something in you, Aquarius. They wanted you to follow them. They wanted you to insist, to maybe send messages to this person and tell them that you want to be with them, you want to make this work. Their confidence in that Eight of Cups was coming from the fact that you are someone who truly loves and who doesn't hide that. I feel from these cards that whenever you feel love, you really show it to the person. And that, if you're showing it to the right person, is absolutely beautiful and it can take you to beautiful places. But if instead you are giving it to the wrong person, now they use it to manipulate you a little bit. They use it at their own advantage. And so right here, they were expecting that. They were expecting you to maybe cry or try to connect with them. And whenever maybe you did in the past, they, that made them confident and strong. And so they kept walking. But right now, they're starting to look back and guess what? You're not there anymore. You're not there to play their game anymore. And this is clearly something that they were not expecting. This energy sitting right underneath. It's something that they didn't see coming from you. And that right now perhaps is going to trigger a whole bunch of new events and taking you to a different outcome from the one initially planned by this person. You know, I see definitely someone here being very proud, wanting maybe to talk to you, but not reaching out to you, wanting for you to initiate the conversation and perhaps at that point, even ignoring it. So... There's clearly a lot going on in this person's mind, and we will see why they behave this way. But there is one important thing that I'm seeing here with this card strength. When you see this energy, you are looking into someone who is feeling the full spectrum of emotions. They feel the happiness and they feel the depression. They feel the excitement and they feel the, um, the deep fear of losing it all. This is clearly someone who now has seen something from you and now they are triggered. Now, let's look more into this card, but I definitely see someone who's starting to be jealous, who not only is not having their puppy following them everywhere they go, but now they see that you are your own person and you're not going to follow them any longer. That you can, you actually realize that you can find happiness elsewhere. And if they're not going to fight for this, you're not going to fight either. Wow, this is really beautiful. So first of all, let's see why they behave this way. Why they hide the need which is there to actually talk to you and connect with you. Five of Cups. So, you know, here they feel that whenever they take action and they show the passion, the love, they show the interest and the willingness to work for something, they usually lose in the situation. This could be just a belief that they have created within themselves 
because of how they were raised, maybe they have seen it in their parents, in their parents' relationship, or they've had experiences where they gave their all and then eventually the person treated them like now they are treating you. But this is not the answer. If this, you recognize yourself, whoever watching out there, into this Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, just know that this is not going to make anyone happy. The people you have around and yourself. And there is nothing wrong in asking for help. There is nothing wrong in saying, hey, I want to do this, but I'm fearful because of the past, because of what that Five of Cups represents to you. So what we see here is that the love is there. And the fact that they're walking away now, it doesn't mean that they're really walking away. In fact, this person is soon going to be back. I have no doubts about that. So let's see with strength what they are seeing that triggers that jealousy and which will trigger, of course, everything that comes next. Six of Cups, okay. There it goes, I knew it, I knew it. I wanted to say I should have said it. Page of Swords, this person is spying on you. They have seen something on your social media. Uh, maybe you kissing someone, holding hands with someone new, hanging out with someone new. Beautiful picture, beautiful video. You look absolutely amazing and they see that. So right here, they are truly afraid that they have lost you. You know, they were looking back. That looking back was part of this page of swords spying on you. And instead of seeing you waiting for them, hoping for them to uh, reconnect with you, four of swords, you bounce back. You're like, you know what? Yes, this was hurtful and all, but my life cannot stop here. My life doesn't end here. Actually, maybe it starts here, it begins here. And so overall, what we see here is that you are taking care of yourself and this person is disappointed about the fact that you're not chasing them. And so this little thing that they're seeing, it's making them jealous and it's making them now remember all the good times you spent together. And the more time they will spend into this energy, the bigger their reaction, their action afterwards is going to be. Now, with the Page of Pentacles, an opportunity is showing up for them to reconnect with you, for them to send you a message. Maybe it's a, I don't know, it's a holiday or it's your birthday. Or they see you on the street, they see you at an event, they will take that as an opportunity to say, hey, we have to talk. Knight of Swords, <clears throat> they are rushing towards you. They're flying towards you, running towards you. They are making a quick decision here with the Page of Pentacles. You know, chances are that they really will see you on the street somewhere and they have to be quick. Quick decision, look at that. And so in, that, in this energy, they won't care anymore about the obstacles. You might be with your new person or with friends who always have your back. And regardless of that, they are coming towards you knowing that they're going to look like a fool. But I mean, Queen of Wands, they cannot resist you. They can't and they don't want to. So let's see what this is going to be about. Let's see what this person is about to do, about to say, how you're going to react and if this can change the dynamic and outcome of this connection. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out email every Monday morning. Uh, make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading, Aquarius. 
We see here a situation which perhaps you are not expecting, but definitely a outcome that this person was not expecting from you. You really always acted towards them in a way that made them feel safe, secure, and as if your feelings were immutable, as though you would have really loved them for the rest of your life. And although that's a beautiful thing, unfortunately, given their background, given their belief at this point in their life, they have started taking that for granted and started also, I'm just getting that, wanting to test you a little bit as well. This person does that <clears throat> a lot. Maybe you know this about them, but they test situations and people in order to find what's wrong about them, in order to find out secrets and things that are not immediately in front of them that might be uh, kept hidden from them. So we definitely see a lot of insecurity here, Aquarius, from this person. But most of all, what we see is that they absolutely want to reconnect with you. Oh, the love and passion that this person still has for you has actually grown. Maybe you didn't expect that, but their love has actually grown. What about your love, Aquarius? First of all, let's see what this person is about to do with the Knight of Swords. They're coming in. Let's see what they're going to say, do. Let's look into their energy at that moment in time. <laughs> I don't believe that. Okay, so as you see here, we have...